today, I want to show you how to remap the button here on the side of the phone to perform custom actions like launching an application, bringing up the power menu, and much more. Now, a while back, Samsung changed the default action for what has historically been known as the power button. On the Samsung Galaxy S24, the Galaxy S24 Plus, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra, this button right here is now called the side key or the side button because we are able to do many different things with it. And you'll find that this will work on most of Samsung's more recent low-end and mid-range devices as well. So the default actions of this button are to lock the screen if there's a singular press, to bring up Bixby if you press and hold, or to bring up the camera application if you quickly press the button two times in a row. However, not everyone is aware that we can customize these actions of that side button. And we can do that by first bringing up the settings application and then scrolling down until you find the advanced features option. So you should be able to find the side button menu right here in this list. It should not be very hard to find. We're going to go ahead and tap that. And we can see the default actions that this button is currently set to. Now, if you wanted to change the double press action to something other than quickly launching the camera, we can do that by tapping on the open app option here. And we can then choose which application or game is launched from this action by tapping on the gear icon that's next to it. That's going to bring up a list of all of our apps that we have installed. And we can choose any of these. So if I frequently opened up the My Files app, I can set the double press action to open up that application. Now, if you were wanting to customize the press and hold action of the side button on the Galaxy S24 series, then we can do that here as well. Sadly, there aren't many options that we can choose from as we're only given the ability to launch Bixby or bring up the power menu. And personally, I prefer to activate the power menu when I press and hold the side button here. So this is what I always have it set to. And when it's changed, you can see it's going to bring up that power menu when we press and hold the side button. I would like for Samsung to add the ability to customize this action to anything else, but that's all we have the ability to do from this menu. We used to be able to change these actions with the button remapper application, but Samsung broke that compatibility with firmware updates, and that is no longer possible without having root access. However, before I end this video today, I want to show you a more advanced setup that we can do to customize the action of that side button. So this page here will only allow us to either open up the camera application or launch a custom app when we double press the side button. However, if we install the good lock application, and then install the Routines Plus module, then we can unlock some additional functionality. So the GoodLock app can be installed from the Galaxy Store. And if you're not familiar with that, be sure to check the video description below as I have a dedicated introductory video on the GoodLock app and its many, many modules. So once the Routines Plus module has been installed, we can then go into the Settings application 
and search for routines. Now we're going to create a new routine and then we're going to set a trigger. So we're going to tap on this if statement. Now after you have installed the, the routines plus module, you will get a button action option from this trigger menu. This is not going to be available if the routines plus module has not been installed. That's why it's in its own little section here. But we can choose the side key as our trigger action. So we can trigger something with Samsung Bixby's routine feature by using the double press side key trigger. So now we're going to select the then action on this routine. And you can see there are a lot of different things that we can set up here. So with the routines plus module set up from the good lock application, we have a number of options to choose from and we are no longer limited to only launching the camera or a custom application. Personally, I like the ability to toggle the flashlight on or off by double pressing the side button on the Samsung Galaxy S24, the Galaxy S24 Plus, or the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But we can also trigger other actions, such as launching Samsung DeX, toggling Do Not Disturb mode, changing the screen brightness, and much, much more. If you have not looked into the Samsung routine system yet, then I highly recommend you check it out. It's not quite as powerful as other automation apps out there like Tesker and MacroDroid, but it is a great way to dive into automating tasks on your Samsung Galaxy device without getting into the more advanced setups out there.